Hello, my beautiful Cancers. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com, here to bring you your monthly forecast for will your ex return in the month of April. So, guys, check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. And if you like this, please like and subscribe, as well as let's see what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about how does your ex feel about you romantically? Do they love you? What's going on with them? Um, What's the blockages? What's keeping you two apart? How did they feel about reconciling with you? Will you guys have a reconciliation? And some advice from the romance angels. Let's jump right in. So, how does Cancer ex-love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Cancer's ex-love interest feel about them romance? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. So page of pentacles, they feel that you are potential for a long-term commitment or they want to take a new path in a long-term commitment with you or send you a message of a long-term commitment. Pentacles are to do with uh, serious things, tangible things, children and family and money and so, so forth. So long-term things. And um, also pages are potential. So they feel like there's some potential here. And it's about new paths and potential paths for this long-term commitment. Because the reason why is because of the tower card. There was something unexpected here with the tower card energy, something big changes, something unexpected here that changed things. And it's causing them to feel like they want a reconciliation here with the judgment card energy. They want to reconcile, they want to heal this relationship. They, they definitely want some recovery around this. They feel like there's some spiritual connection here. They, they definitely, uh, I see there's a lot of spiritual um, individuals. There's a monk here. There's some priests here. There's uh, religious people. And they're all uh, waiting here for the angel to cleanse them and renew them around the situation. And they do feel like they want to hang out with you. They want to be with you with the Three of Cups energy. Um, they want to be friends here. They want to... Um, celebrate and they want to hang out because that's the three of cups that's a hanging and celebration card and they do feel like they feel like there's some potential long-term commitment here with the knight of pentacles and they try to slow walk things about this so they feel like they want to take this uh path and a long-term commitment because these sudden changes this unexpected things that happened here they would like some kind of reconciliation so these this is this is very unexpected for them and they want judgment and healing because of this unexpected thing or this unexpected thing about the connection or unexpected happenings that is going on, um, which caused them to feel like they want to hang out. They want to celebrate. Um, they want to, um, to, to have joy here. Cause three, the three of cups in general is a cup of, uh, is a cup. It is a card of joy. It is the card of joy. And you can see there's people hanging out and they're celebrating and they're being friends and taking it slow here with the Knight of Pentacles energy to a long-term commitment with the Knight of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So we have three, which is working towards something and building something, building this relationship up. So there was something quite unexpected. Well, we don't have to say what that quite unexpected thing is, but there is this quite unexpected thing that has changed their perception of things and they feel like they want to reconciliation and they want a healing so what is um what is the blockages between these two romantically what is the blockages between these two romantically what is the blockages between these two romantically show me the cards I need to see what's keeping these two apart show me the cards I need to see show me the cards I need to see Okay, so Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy uh, could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, or it's because of the fact that there's a person that's like, all right, I want to be patient when it comes to my passions. I want to be sure that I want this. Um, I'm trying to use my intuition or I feel that there's something secret here with the High Priestess card. Um, there is a person here that has their walls up. They feel defensive. They feel like there's a test of faith here. So if we look at the cards so far, I can see there's a mountain in this card. So I know, but the mountain has, is starting to have light on it. So I know that whatever's going on between you and this person, it is starting to clear away because the mountain has, has, has got a bright light shining on it. Even though there's still some challenges around this connection, there's some delays. Um, there is a, a sense that 
um, this person or you feels imprisoned in, uh, in the situation. And one of you is writing down a lot of thoughts and ideas about the situation. They're really wanting to write a letter to you or really using their intuition or trying to get some kind of messages from spirit to um, really get some understanding about this connection. And this is also the patient energy because there's a defensiveness here. Um, but I do see in all three situations, there is light. Light's coming in through this window, light's coming in through this window, and there's light coming all bouncing really heavily off that mountain. So I know that there is still a, a shred of hope here and there is, um, there is there's light being shed on the situation. Even though there's, there's a person here that feels like there's a test of faith and they feel like they're gonna get hurt, this this uh, this feeling of isolation is really making someone focus on their intuition and the, around the situation. And um, ten of Pentacles, it could be something to do with loyalty and something pertaining to family and long term commitment with the Ten of Pentacles energy. And Four of Pentacles shows me that there's a still a person that's still holding on to a person or an idea or even holding a grudge here with the four of pentacles energy. That card for me usually comes out when someone's still holding on to some hurt or pain that they need to let go of, they need to heal from. Okay. So I see nine. It's about someone's wishes being fulfilled about completion of something and structuring things, organizing things with the four card energy. Um, so that seems to be what the blockage is here. So how does Cancer's ex-love interest feel about having a reconciliation with Cancer? How does Cancer's ex-love interest feel about have a recon reconciliation with Cancer in the month of April? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, so there's some procrastination here or there is a desire. Let's just see what the next card is. Mm. there's some procrastination here because they feel like they have to wait and see how things are going to play out. And uh, they do feel like communication is an issue here. And um, there could be other people that could be talking in the background. And um, they are feeling though that things are starting to be cleared away, even though the mountains are way, way in the background. So I feel like, yes, there's a patient energy. Yes, there's some challenges, but they realize they can overcome them. Um, Yep, there's the Knight of Cups. They feel like they want to do to, to take an action towards uh, love and romance. They feel like they want to be a knight in shining armor to you. They want to, um, you know, offer their cup of love here uh, with the uh, Knight of Cups energy. And again, in this card, I see that there is a mountain that's way in the background. It's kind of hazy and the mountain has light on it. So I do feel that this person is ready to like shed light on the situation and they, they want to, they want to be romantic and they want love and they want to give love Knight of cups energy. Um, and they want balance and they're trying to be patient here for the situation to be balanced for emotions to be balanced. And, uh, I see an elephant in this card and elephants always remind me of someone who wants to be intelligent. They do feel like there's a defeated energy around this connection because of this depression or this procrastination. And this is making them feel defeated around the connection because they're like, I'm gonna have to come uh, at this at a different way, a different angle. And um, I need to figure out if I wanna stand up and fight or walk away because I feel like I have to wait and see how things are gonna play out. But I do wanna take an action towards love and romance. I do want to be helpful here. I do wanna be romantic here with this Knight of Cups energy. But I'll just be patient because I, I know that there is still a lot of thinking, contemplating that's just causing challenges around this. Okay, so let's see how if you guys will reconcile in the month of April. Will Cancer reconcile with their ex-love interest in the month of April? Will Cancer reconcile with their ex-love interest in the month of April? Will they get back together? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Wow, Six of Cups. So Six of Cups does represent a reconciliation, a fresh start and a new opportunity. The World card represents a completion around the situation. The Empress is a love card, love and abundance. Oh my God, uh, Ace of Cups is uh, true love, opportunity of love. And oh my God, Seven of Pentacles. Oh my God, yes, someone's gonna offer it. So there is a person that's going to offer to reconcile. 
and uh, there is a, an opportunity for you guys to complete this. And then um, there's, there's going to be some waiting around because you guys are going to see how this is going to play out. There is an opportunity, though, to heal and recover. Yes, there is an opportunity to reconcile this month. Um, there is going to be a little bit of waiting around, though, to see how this opportunity or this offer is going to be presented. So uh, just be aware that there could be some waiting in there. But yeah, these two birds are together. These couples are together here. Um, and it's because of the fact that there is some invested time in this. So, um, and I see two birds talking here. So I do feel like you guys are going to talk. Yeah. And one person is really going to be anxious about, yes, I want to reconcile. And the other person is going to be like, okay, all right. Or I just slow this down a little bit. All right. So six is healing recovery and one is an opportunity. And there's going to be thinking and contemplating about this. So yes, I would lean towards, yes, you have the opportunity to reconcile with this person's mom. Okay, so can I have some advice for my cancers? Can I have some advice for my cancers what they should do about their love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? In the month of April, show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Allow your heart and soul to sing with passion. So... Um, allow your heart and soul to sing with passion and extend your lighthearted energy to others flirt. So it's it. There you go. All right. And only take these advice if you want to, or because you remember you have free will here, cancer. I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like, and subscribe. And if you like a personal read with me, let me know what's going on in the comments below. As well as if you guys would like a personal reading, you go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much and have a great Western month, okay?